This woman pulled her hair up. Her gaze was filled with hatred. She rushed in and stabbed the guard, then quickly finished with another one. What makes her being so cruel? Let's find out with us. A couple was on a fun trip. Then halfway through, a muscular man suddenly teased the wife, Brenna. The husband did not understand what was going on, but that bastard kept teasing his wife. She didn't care, raised her middle finger at the other man's face. It was just a small accompaniment, and it could not affect their moods. After that, the two of them were walking in the woods when it rained, they quickly took shelter in a wooden house, but when they opened the door they were shocked. It was filled with guns, seeing that the situation was not right, they wanted to leave. At that moment the muscular man appeared again and knocked out the husband. Until they could wake up, they were surrounded by a bunch of thugs. The man told the couple this is the place where the two of them should not go and they do not expect to be able to leave either. As soon as he finished speaking, he pulled out his gun and shot them both. At night, the couple's bodies were thrown in the middle of the forest. But fortunately, Brenner was not dead, the bullet did not kill Brenner. As soon as she woke up, she pulled off the rope and felt extreme pain when she looked at the body of her husband beside her. Then Brenner tidied her hair, preparing to avenge her husband, Dillian. Before returning to the log house yesterday, Brenner used an axe to sharpen a branch to use as a weapon, then bravely approached one of the thugs and took his life. After entering the house, she looked at the bloodstains from her husband last night and decided to kill everyone there. She found two men in the forest, quickly she hit one in the head with a glass bottle, but this guy was not weak. Brenner fell to the ground, but she raised her legs to grip his neck, then sat up and used her knife. Moments after, the second man woke up, he was questioned by her about Butch's location. But he was quite stubborn, she had to pour a barrel of gas and set a fire to attract the attention of Butch and his gang. The first woman to get up was the boss here, all thugs call her mama. She sent Butch to check out the situation. Then she sent another man to find information about Brenner, it turned out that Brenner was a member of the Rangers special force, and she was also the only female. Mama feels a bit scared, this time they've messed with the wrong person. On the other side, Sheriff Hank was hunting when he heard the explosion. He went to the scene and discovered the body parts left, immediately called to alert the other officers to investigate. Teammates arrive and tell him, this is Mama's subordinate. The former sheriff also had to give in to her, but Hank did not care, setting up Mama to investigate. Mama confidently faced Hank's question. She said that her subordinates died because of suicide, but Hank did not believe in that crap, who would commit suicide by stabbing themselves six times. But Mama didn't say anything more, and he didn't have any evidence, so they left. At night, Brenner came to them. She smacked the doorman on the head with a glass bottle, used a knife to slice his throat, then retrieved the ring from Butch's neck. This is her and Dillian's engagement ring. It was extremely important to her. While hiding, she discovered, this gang not only trained This time Mama's subordinates also bring dogs, she can only go down the river and find the polices looking for the sheriff. The two girls were exhausted for the whole night and went asleep quickly. After that, they were called to wake up by thugs, rudely pulling them out of the car, it turns out that those polices had been bribed by Mama. They brought the two girls into a room, because Emily was pregnant with Butch's baby so Mama temporarily spared her, and Breener was hung up and tortured. Although Emily was pregnant, she was still nothing in their eyes. She still has to do the heavy work. Mama even threatened her, waiting for the baby to be born and she would also die. When she gave the food to Brenner, Emily was almost harmed again, and Brenner saved her. Which touched Emily even more, and she bravely picked up her knife and began to fight back. Her gratitude to Brenner overcame her weaknesses. Brenner helped her to cut off the ropes, then she picked up a doping syringe to inject herself so that she could recover to be able to fight. Brenner went out into the hall to meet a thug coming. She stabbed him in the leg with a knife, gagged, and then finished him. Suddenly, from behind came a man who strangled her. She tilted her head and smashed him, then punched the crap out of him. Brenner came to the kitchen, two of the thugs were still bewildered, and not knowing what happened, she quickly took them out in seconds. Mama finds the situation was bad for her, she holds a knife to Emily's neck to threaten Brenner, forces Brenner to drop her weapon, but Brenner disagrees. 
Mama directly cut Emily's throat and then runs away. No! Three months later, Mama received a friendly greeting message from Brenner. Suddenly there was a gunshot. Mama's head was blown. Brenner has successfully avenged her husband and dozens of innocent people, hoping that they would rest in peace.